So I'm a backpacking guide in Alaska. Um, I'm actually taking this gear out in the field and I'm using it. Um, I've got quite a bit of experience with it, so I thought I'd give you guys my review of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, here it is. This review is about the Marmot Ajax two-person tent. Um, it's a fairly good piece of equipment. Um, I don't have really set up too well right now. I just have the vestibules and the side pieces sake down and it's not really perfect or pulled tight the ground here is really gravelly and it's not holding anything as you can probably see by the stake there um it's a fairly decent cut it does its job really well i'll say that i've probably been in it for about two weeks now in the back country um but i'll show you inside there's plenty of vestibule space it's got velcro on top of the zipper spot, keeps the water out. So it's, it's pretty cozy here. I don't know if you can see. Um, sorry, it's so. Can't really get a good shot with my camera here. This is me laying end to end. Um, so I'm six foot two, and I, when I'm sitting in this, my head barely touches this end, and my feet will barely touch over there. Again, it's not pulled tight right now, but oh, there's bugs getting in. Uh, it's not so much of an issue though as it normally would be when you're, when you're touching a tent, because this is so well ventilated with the screen that bugs or the air that flows right out um so that's a good thing so every single night and i've been sleeping in really hot dry conditions and really cold wet conditions i've actually stayed dry and it looks kind of deceiving because you can see the vestibule the rain cover in some places it's kind of high up but i I haven't got wet yet, and I was just sleeping on top of the Kasugi Ridge last night for about three days. And one of the nights it was downpouring with heavy, heavy, heavy wind. The rain was coming sideways, and I stayed perfectly dry. So what's cool about this tent is it's light, about five pounds. Well, five pounds loaded. It's really quick and easy to... I know that sounds really bad, five pounds. That's really heavy for a tent, but um, I'm strong. Oh man, I don't really care, it's five pounds. I got it pretty cheap, so. It takes up and it takes down really quickly. Uh, you pretty much pull your stakes out. And then it clips in on the sides. And what I have been doing to make this a really much faster process is just pulling this off like this, pulling the fly, tent, fly piece off, and I'm actually leaving these clipped in because you can actually reverse which side you clip in, and it's kind of hard to get in and out of the tent that way. Um, and then it's fairly straightforward you just take these clip things off and you undo the tent right down there and it all just comes down so if you're proficient at you can put this tent up in under five minutes if you're serious this way um i don't really have any real complaints about this tent it actually has there's some place in the screen where the bugs are coming through i just noticed the other day and it's not this big gaping hole in it that I left. There's some place else in it the bugs are coming through. And I'm not sure where, but it's kind of annoying. But I mean, other than that, this cool little trick right here is a pretty cool to make things a lot more fast and easier for you. Um, to tie the sides, these sides right here, on the ends, you're best off using the bowline knot. It's pretty quick. If you really want to know how to do that knot, um, just comment on here and I'll make a video about how to do that knot. 
hold this up. If you know if you get this sent for $150 like I did off Sierra Trading Post, pretty good deal. You probably won't be disappointed. So good luck. Thank you. And I forgot to mention, um, so if you want to do a footprint for this, I just made my own. This is 3.5 millimeter plastic. Got it from like I think Walmart for like six dollars. It came in a huge roll, didn't even use it all. Uh, me and my dad made this. We got these um, eyelets from, I think, some craft place. I forget the name of it. But the pole is just side right in there, and this goes right into the tent. And I actually, the tent will go on top of this, and then I fold it all up together. And it, it goes in really nice, and it keeps the tent pretty dry or wet away from everything else. So... There you have it. Thanks for watching. So that's the review in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions on the review or want to know more information on the gear, let me know and I can answer it. Um, I'm using it still, even the stuff I don't like. So um, let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe to me. I'm doing a video blog of my Laskin days. So it's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, thanks for watching.